Do you love the Justice League of America? Are you a fan of Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman? Are you as autistically obsessed with Son of the Hedgehog as your boy is? Do you read comics? If so, then do I have some banger news for you. Welcome back to Words of Paradise. I'm your host, Leon Idol. And yes, if you had not heard, Sonic the Hedgehog and the Justice League are getting a crossover. Now, I have mentioned at length that I'm kind of tired of crossovers. I feel like they're getting a bit excessive, specifically when it comes to Magic the Gathering. Uh, but you slap Sonic the Hedgehog on there, you give me a hint of Superman, and all of a sudden, I'm willing to be an absolute hypocrite and go back on my word. So we're going to find out all about this. Before we do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm a nerdy news channel. I cover nerdy news every day. And, uh, I, yeah, yeah, needless to say, I cannot wait. Justice League, Sonic the Hedgehog to cross over in 2025. Warner Bros. Discovery, Global Consumer Products, and Sega of America have announced that Sonic the Hedgehog and his team will cross over with DC's Justice League of America next year. Oh, that's look, the year is almost over. I know it says next year. That sounds like so long to wait. But remember, we're at the end of September of 2024. This is just on the horizon, boys and girls. The crossover will begin with a five-issue monthly comic series written by Ian Flynn. Yo, okay, for those of you that don't know, I'm, look, look, look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get pretty positive here. We done a lot of negative stuff today, especially that first video. If you watch that first video, huh, you should watch it. It's, it, it, it's very, very important. But uh, this is a palate cleanser, and if you don't know who Ian Flynn is, Ian Flynn is the man that saved Sonic. You notice how Sonic the movie was actually pretty damn good. Uh, the most recent game was good. The comics have been bangers. Yeah, that's because after about a decade, decade and a half of atrocious Sonic content, Ian Flynn came in and he quite literally saved the franchise. He is the arguably the best writer, I don't even know if it's arguable, he is the best writer that Sonic has ever had, and knowing that he will also get to work on the Justice League, technically, by, by this being a crossover, this is going to work with them together, I am, I, I, I am enamored, I'm, I'm, I'm enthralled, let's go, in which the Justice League and Team Sonic must team up to save both their worlds, Flynn is the writer for IDW's Sonic the Hedgehog series, the limited series will launch in March of 2025, yo, Launches in March of 2025. You know what that means? For those of you that know, uh, yeah, that, that, that Assassin's Creed Shadows game, the Ubisoft game that got pushed back, like we all kind of laughed at and figured it would, got pushed back to Valentine's Day. Yeah, well, uh, you get to now have a great March as a follow-up to a terrible February, because what you can do is you can kick back, you can skip that absolute trash Assassin's Creed game, and then come in with some banger Sign of the Hedgehog and DC superhero content. That's probably going to be the best way to flex your nerd cred in 2025. Sega will also collaborate on consumer products collection that will include apparel, toys, collectibles, and more. Sega teased the crossover on, Sept on September 21st, Batman Day, on the Sonic Instagram with a video showing Shadow in a Batman suit. I haven't actually seen this. I do have the video pulled up where we do see it though. So why, why, why don't we, instead of just reading about it, let's get this straight from the horse's mouth. Or I guess in this case, the hedgehog's mouth. Now, obviously, this is coming from Ian Flynn himself. Justice League plus Sonic Heroes equals ludicrous amounts of fun. It's intimidating because I know expectations will be high. I hope everyone enjoys it when it's out. And, and he's not wrong. Look, to be fair, my expectations are incredibly high. But also, it's Ian Flynn, and he has never once disappointed me. So, so this is from the actual Sonic the Hedgehog account. The world of DC Comics Sonic the Hedgehog collide in a multi-year plane for comics, merch, and more reveals DCX Sonic. Let's just, let's just react to this. Like, I haven't seen this yet, so let, let's just go. Hey everybody, I'm so excited to be here at Sonic Central. I'm Tiffany Smith and I'm joined by Evo. How you doing? I'm good, thank you. Okay, so you know why you're here, right? I do. We are here to get to the bottom of what Sonic posted on Batman Day. We are. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, take a look. Good animation so far. It also sounds like, I could be wrong, but it sounds like they're also using, like, if it's not the original Danny Elfman score, it's absolutely a variation of it. <gasps> Yo! 
That was awesome, dude. Okay, you guys know I'm not a Batman fan. I made it very apparent I'm not a Batman fan. I love the Batman universe, the Batman mythos, but as a character, I can't stand Batman. I'm a Superman guy. You know, the big blue Boy Scout. What can I say? There's just something more intrinsically amazing and hopeful about Superman, about, you know, the, the man, the, the, the god among men who is doing his best to be human. Look, I just, I like that story arc better. That being said, I am a Shadow the Hedgehog fan, so maybe this will get me a bit more interested in Batman. Uh, let, let, let's see what they got to talk about. It's so good! It's fun, right? <laughs> For a lot of you guys watching, you know I'm a huge DC fan, but Sonic the Hedgehog was the first game that I ever played all really? the way through. Yeah, you did? Yeah, so I'm very excited to be here. I don't know if Sonic the Hedgehog was my very first game, but I believe it was. I do believe that Sonic the Hedgehog 3 specifically was the first video game I ever played. And I played it with my granny, who, uh, R.I.P., she was a gamer and she got me into Sonic the Hedgehog. So, yeah, just, just so you guys are like, oh, this autistic Leon over here. No, I got my emotional reasons for it. And I'm also probably a little bit retarded. Yeah, absolutely. Here and hear more about this mashup. What does this collision actually entail? Can you give us some details? Well, it's going to start with comics, and that's going to start in March of 2025, and we're going to have one issue a month. So you're talking about comics. We're talking about the content. Does this mean we're really going to get to see Sonic the Hedgehog and some of his friends maybe teaming up with the Justice League characters? I think so, and if you want to talk about it, we can. Yes. Okay, who's overseeing all of this? Uh, so we have a writer who's super well-known, and everybody loves him, and that is... Ian Flynn. Ian Flynn, baby. The, the, here's how you knew. I mean, I know, I know we've talked about already. The article says so. We're watching Ian's post. But uh, just the man getting more work makes me so ecstatic because he earned it. He is the savior of Sonic. So good. Okay, so I know you're not going to tell me the artists, but we've already seen one mashup. We've yeah. got Shadow as Batman. Can you show us some of the other ones? Sure, let's All do right. it. All right, who's Superman? Knuckles. Okay, so I actually know who these reveals are because I did see a post on X about this. Knuckles being Superman is honestly is kind of perfect. Now, I will say, looking at this art, I, I'm i not just going to fanboy out and ignore any sort of criticism. I'm going to be objective, and this art is very flat-looking. Now, however, that's not the way the art looks in the previous Sonic comics. In fact, the Sonic comics have very dynamic and well-shaded art. There's not an ounce of shading on these, so I think these are concept art pieces they're using to sort of like be promotional and show off what the event sort of entails. Uh, so yeah, while, while, while if you're going to have you know, criticism about the way it looks, I do understand, um, but this is not what I think it's going to look like in the actual final draft. These are just promo pieces. Wonder Woman. Amy. So good. Flash. Anyone that knows me knows Amy is my second favorite Sonic character. She is Wonder Woman. It's going to be great. Sonic, of course. Green Lantern. Silver the Hedgehog. Ooh. Oh, okay. So, so I, I knew this one, but I'm thinking about this. This is an interesting one. Silver the Hedgehog is not who I would have gone with for Green Lantern. However, if anyone that knows the Green Lantern lore, I mean, the Lantern Rings, the Green Lantern Rings specifically, is all about will, your force of will. And um, I guess that does work for Silver the Hedgehog because, you know, he, he's a lone survivor from a far-flung future where the world is all destroyed and chaotic, and he had the force of will to keep fighting. He's come back in time to try and, you know, like, like, like gather Sonic and his forces and sort of, you know, fix the timeline. So uh, that, that takes a lot of will to do so. So while he's not who I would have gone with, I, I'm picking up what he's putting down. I, I can see it working. Talk. Ooh, and Cyborg. Tails. All right, I'm just going to call it right now. I'm going to go OG. My favorite is Sonic as the Flash. I'm going to go uh, Shadow as Batman. Mm-hmm. We know where your allegiances lie. That's right. <laughs> Those are so epic. I'm so excited for this. Is there anything else that you want to share with everybody watching? Yeah, sure. So besides the five comics that we talked about for March 2025, we're also going to do a collected edition of all those comics, as well as merchandise, including apparel, accessories. So they say apparel. And if your boy can get himself a Superman Knuckles tee or something, like, I, I might just wear it every video. I feel kind of ashamed I'm wearing, like, a, a Mario shirt right now when I'm talking about Sonic the Hedgehog, but whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm a filthy Benedict Arnold, so. Toys, collectibles, and all of this will be for fall 2025. I know what I'm going to be reading, buying, wearing in 2025. And me too. <laughs> You've shared a bunch of stuff with us, but I think there is possibly one more secret that you want to share with everybody. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it here on Sonic Central exclusively. You ready? I'm ready. All right. We're going to continue the celebration of DC and the Sonic universe through 2026. Shh. 
Okay, that one's not really a big shock. Doesn't surprise me. You don't really do a big promo crossover like this and only have, like, like this is this is kind of a massive deal. Yeah, you don't really have that be a, a quick five issue thing than one and done. So he says it's a big surprise. I don't know. To me, that makes perfect sense. Shut up! So the party is literally just getting started. We thought it was just till 2025, but now two years, baby. Just getting started. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Evo, for yeah. joining us. And you guys, make sure you let us know your favorite mashups and enjoy the rest of Sonic Central. Bye! Okay, so there's a lot to unpack here because, first of all, we got to be objective about this. The comics, uh, comics are dying. Like, like the only comics that sell in the top ten are exclusively Batman, and Spider-Man, uh, and and IDW. The only comics that sell from them, IDW being the publisher for the Sonic comics. They've been in dire straits for years now. They've been getting absolutely destroyed in sales. The only comics that are making sales for IDW are Sonic the Hedgehog. None of their other licensed material is actually doing well. So, this is, uh, like, like, objectively, this is a way for IDW to get out of its financial struggles. Now, if that means a good, awesome product, then I'm A-OK -okay with it, and, and, again, I'm a massive Sonic fan for very obvious reasons, so I'm gonna be down either way. Uh, that being said, obviously, I'm, I've been, uh, hesitant on crossovers. I really am excited for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Naruto crossover. This one looks great to me. Look, I, I just, I, I want to be positive about this. I know that this sort of anti-woke space can get so negative, and, and for good reason, because we've had such bad content for the last God knows how long, but if we can find something that we are very interested in, think will be good, that we want to champion, that's kind of worth talking about and showing that, hey, we actually do love nerd culture, and we want to see it succeed, and this is something that I'm legitimately excited for, uh, but I wonder what you guys think, so let me know in the comments down below, or let me know on X or you can find me at Bolt the Word, and please do subscribe, I'm a nerdy news channel, I cover nerdy news every day, not always about, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog or comic books, but anime, movies, music, Magic the Gathering, you name it, check me out on Instagram at Words of Paradise underscore Leon, and become a member for $4.99 a month, you can join the Discord, choose the articles I go over on a day-to-day -day basis, choose the videos I react to on my Friday night live streams, and of course, get involved with over 80 other vital idols, we are a bright, beautiful, glowing, vibrant community that I cannot wait to grow even further, because... We do care about diversity, but only one kind of diversity, diversity of thought. If that's interesting to you, join the Discord, hit subscribe, and until next time, it is all here in the Nerdosphere. This has been Words of Paradise.